When 17-year-old Luke Benke walked through the door of his home in Jefferson City, his family had a very good reason to be glad to see him. Just days before, he snapped this picture of a missile launch in Israel as violence began to unfold. Well, when we got there, not too much was happening. Then things started to escalate. They started rioting, started shooting missiles at each other and things like that. Luke is a third generation missionary with Team Missions International. When he signed up in December, the situation in Israel was better, but the spike in violence didn't change his mind. I went because I felt like I should be doing something. And I've always wanted to go to Israel, I'm just feeling called to go there. Help out there. Luke's team went to a town on the West Bank to help build a school. They continued to work until July 17th when the violence began to escalate. That's when Luke's parents began to pray for their son's safe return. We knew that the ground incursion was probably going to start soon because uh, yet another ceasefire um, was, was not followed through. And um, so technically speaking, Luke, his, his team, um, had to be split up into two different groups just to get enough seats on an airplane to get out of there. We had lots of people praying for him, um, even people that did not financially support him, um, just like I said, from different countries and from our from friends and family. Luke was able to get on a plane just before the airport closed. By the time he returned, the fighting was well underway. Luke and his family say their strong commitment to God is what has kept them together. And as he came through the, the gates, the doorway, we were, I had to kind of hold myself back to not run up and hug him. I would like to thank God for keeping us safe and that giving us a way to get home in time. I believe according to the scriptures that, um, that peace will come to Jerusalem but it won't be a man-made peace, and it won't be because of a gun or a missile or a bomb. Chris Shepard, KRCG 13, Jefferson City.